Hey everybody, it's Maria here. Thanks so much for joining me today because today we're going to be taking a closer look at the brand new Snowmies release from Tonic Studios. This is a super fun wintry release. It's full of adorable snowmen that you can either stamp or build with the snowman builder dies and I can't wait to show you more. Let's go check it out. All right, this month when you get your Snowmi Stamp Club bundle, you're going to get a 6x8 stamp set that has some really great images and some very funny sentiments to go along with it. And then you're also going to get a coordinating die set that has both coordinating and standalone dies. This month, you're going to get a free gift of this awesome stencil. It has snowflakes on the top and falling snow on the bottom. We've also got a really great add-on this month, the mini slimline envelope builder die set. And this has texture plates and uh, labels, as well as tags, small word dies, and embellishments so that you can step all of your tags and envelopes up for either mailing or hand delivery. Now here is a closer look at these dies that coordinate with the stamps. So you can see that the two large snow me images as well as the Christmas trees, stars, and a couple of the snowflakes match with the dies. Now here are some cards that I made using those uh, dies and stamps that coordinate together. I also combined them with sentiments that I created from the patterns and prints and backgrounds and borders stamp sets. So that was really fun to be able to customize my own sentiments and then I also used one of these to create a shaker card. All right, so now let's take a look at the dies that can stand alone. Now some of the dies that match the stamp sets actually can stand alone as well, so they have a dual function. But these snowman builder dies are really fun and you can do them with faces, you can add buttons, different noses, arms, gloves, little tea or coffee mugs, a couple of different hats, scarves, earmuffs. I mean, the sky is the limit. There's even a little holly berry, and then there are four beautiful snowflakes that you can add to the sky. So there are also um, the pom-pom from the hat can double as a snowball, and then there are snow drifts, and the trees can be stamped uh, and die cut or die cut on their own. There are also fun little presents with ribbons and bows that you can die cut as well. Now let's go ahead and put together one of these snowmen. So first I want to show you these heads. So if you cut that smallest snowball by itself, you get a solid head. If you cut it with the mouth, you will get the mouth cut into the head. Um, I like to use both of those pieces and then use a black marker to add the you know, the coal pieces for the mouth to the background, and then I just layer them and go them together like that. So all together there are four different snowballs that you can make the snowmen out of, and you can cut them from white or colored paper. You can also add extra dimension by ink blending around the edges of the snowballs with um, a complementary color of ink. So here I'm using white cardstock, and then I'm ink blending around the edges with my Siren Blue Nouveau Hybrid ink. I'm going to do that to each of the snowballs, and I'm focusing on putting most of the color around the edges so that the center of the snowballs appears a bit more white and pops forward to look a bit, little bit more dimensional. So I've glued all three of those snowballs um, together to create a snowman and now I'm going to add some eyes and a little carrot nose. There are three different noses that you can choose from and then there's also a die that cuts out three pieces of coal so you can select the size you want as well. I grabbed earmuffs, a scarf, stick arms, and gloves and glued those onto my snowman to finish him off and now I'm ready to add a little bit of detail because if you notice those, um, there is no detail on the scarf and on the earmuffs, so I want to add a little bit of shading. So I've just grabbed a gray marker, and now I'm going to go into the nooks and crannies, anywhere where there might be a shadow or a crease in the scarf, for example, and I'm just going to add those in with a gray marker. I like doing this with gray because you can go on top of almost any color and add gray shadows and it will work. And then I'm using a white gel pen to add some highlights, and that gives some dimension to the accessories on my snowman. Now here are a couple cards I made using this, these standalone dies and I love that depending on how you place the pieces of the snowman you can make them face different directions or straight forward as I did on this one. And this next card shows how you can make a simple but beautiful card using those standalone Christmas tree dies and I coordinated it with a sentiment from the Christmas rose bundle. 
Now I want to show you the measurements for the mini slimline cards. So you're going to go six by six for the card base and then score it at three inches. So six by six, score it down the center. And then if you want a top piece, it's going to be three by six. And that will easily go on top to give you a perfect mini slimline card to fit inside your mini slimline envelopes. Now let's grab that stencil and I want to show you how easy it is because um, even if you want to stencil over a larger area, all you need to do is stencil the area that you want. Um, I did a lighter color blue and then a darker color blue around the perimeter and then you're just going to rotate that stencil, um, rotate that paper I mean and stick it back underneath the stencil, line the design up edge to edge so where you finish stenciling to where the edge of the stencil is and then you can just easily stencil the rest of your background. Um, so I didn't take any tricky work I just stenciled it twice and I wanted to make sure I showed you what that falling snow side of the stencil looks like so it's just really delicate falling snow it's very pretty. Here is an example of a card where I used the white glacier paste with the snowflake side of the stencil on my background and then on this one I used the falling snow side of the stencil with some moonstone glimmer paste. It's really subtle but in real, in real life it is so pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and finish putting together this mini slim line card. So I've got that background that I have ink blended using my snowflake stencil and I'm just going to use my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive to adhere that to my mini slim line card base which was six by six scored at three inches so that card is three by six and then I have some foam tape already on the back of my little snow me and then I've got a sentiment again from the Christmas rose stamp set sending warm wishes I just think that it coordinates so well with the snow me set Okay, so now let's make an envelope for this guy. So here is our mini slimline envelope die set. And if you use this large frame, uh, which takes up almost an eight and a half by 11 size sheet of paper. So you do need a large die cutting machine to be able to use this. Um, then you can choose which texture plate you want to cut in with it. And you'll end up with a envelope that looks like this. So on this envelope, you can see that I've run it through with a texture plate on the front side of the envelope only. So you can choose if you wanna do one side or both. Then once you do that, you're going to add adhesive just to the flaps. So just to that bottom flap, just to that side flap, fold them in, and then you can just easily close up that envelope and you have a perfect seamless envelope with or without texture, however you want to do it. And it will fit your three by six mini slimline card perfectly. And adding that little bit of texture is really just the perfect touch to finish off those cards. So let me show you how to do that. So you're just going to tape that envelope die cut down. And if you want to add texture, then you get your texture plate, center it in one of those two larger spaces and tape it in place so that it doesn't slide around when you run it through your die cutter. So you know that the tangerine is a light, large die cutting machine and so just again you do need a large die cutting machine to be able to use the envelope piece of this die cutting creator set. Um, you can use every other element with a normal size die cutting machine so it's still a really valuable set um, if you don't have a large die cutting machine. Now what you just saw me do was to center the texture plate on the other side of the envelope and crank it through again. So now when I pull it out what you're going to see is that I'm going to have perfect texture on both sides of my envelope. So this is a really easy way that you can texture both sides of the envelope and it will fill the space from one side to the other. Now I want to show you that you can actually custom size your envelopes as well. So, you know, first you just saw the full size, which will fit the three by six card, but let's say you have a three by three card, or maybe you want to create a small envelope to give someone a gift card in. This is how you do that. You just slide your envelope downwards so that you're keeping that top flap of the envelope. And when you cut it out, that die is going to create a flap in the middle of the original envelope and you can adjust the height of your new envelope by sliding the envelope die up or down on the original envelope. So you can create any size that you want. When you pop it out, you see you've still got the flap on the side and the flap on the bottom. And all you have to do is fold those flaps in, add some adhesive, and you have your smaller envelope. This is again textured on both sides and then you can use your 
embellishments from the die set to decorate your envelope. So here I've used two of the tags and offset them a little bit. And then I used the high word die in gold on top of that. And then I used some of the circles that you can see up there at the top to create um, a closure and then to embellish the tag. So here are a bunch of envelopes that I made using this set. This one I inlaid some stars and then I used holographic paper behind it. This one was patterns and prints and and again, patterns and prints for a mist, mixed media look with some gold um, Nouveau embellishment mousse. Um, and then this one, I just used some beautiful pattern paper and made a really simple label using um, the labels and tags and the word dies. And then this one, I cut some metal sheets out and some branches and added the high. And then again, there's the smaller envelope. And this is an envelope that I actually designed to go with one of the cards I made. And so um, I designed it to go perfectly with this shaker card that I've put inside. So you can see that you can coordinate the colors and the embellishments as well. Now let's put together that small envelope that we just um, made together. I just want to show you how quick and easy it can be to make a beautiful envelope. So I've wrapped some gold thread around the envelope and then I've cut one of the labels and watercolored it just in a blue watercolor wash. I've added the gold for you word dies to that little label and then I've just taken one of the Christmas tree dies, sprayed it in green, added a gold star, and then I've also cut that circle closure in gold. So now I'm just using foam tape and I'm going to piece it all together. Right now I'm just making sure I've got the alignment the way that I want it. Um, and then once I've got all those pieces, it's really just as simple as gluing them on, adhering them either um, with liquid adhesive if you need it to be flat, but I liked the extra dimension. Um, and once I've got that gold circle closure up there at the top, that's done and it's so sparkly and so fun and it's perfect for a little gift card. Okay, well that's it for today's video. So let's take one last look at some of the cards that I made. And while you do, I wanna say a huge thank you to all of you. It has been my absolute pleasure to be able to participate and inspire the ideas behind Stamp Club for the last year and a half. I have made the decision to go back to my full-time job. So this month's release will be my last release. I've really enjoyed being on this crafty journey with all of you and just wanted to send a huge thank you to all of you who have had so much fun with me over the last year and a half. For now, if you'd like to pick up this Snowmies Stamp Club release, you can find it exclusively in the Tonic Studios shop in both UK and USA. If you'd like more information, please click the links in the description box below. Happy crafting! Bye for now!